My name is Arvind Yalagada. So I work as the Vice President of Portfolio Marketing and Strategy for the software business of Schneider Electric. Related to the megatrend Internet of Things, our customers are looking for value beyond connectivity. They're looking for value from the data given the variety of devices that they connect to and the business value that they need to provide to the data. When customers think about the value of IoT delivered in their organizations, they have two kinds of trends at the back of their mind. The first trend is a business trend. It's mostly customer imperatives like demands for operational efficiency, demands for more uh, empowered assets. And on the other hand, technology trends that are related to IoT like low cost of connectivity, low power wireless networks. So these two trends in conjunction are actually driving the need towards IoT. The most impactful automation applications that I've been involved with are enterprise pipeline management. So there are sensors installed on the pipeline to actually detect the state of the pipeline, convey that information through a model to the central control room where it's compared and any leaks that could happen at some point of time are detected and operators are actually dispatched to correct the state of the pipeline. The second kind of application is like a water network optimization app. And this water network optimization app allows our customer to actually optimize the energy or make, the, make it more energy efficient and optimize the quality or better quality of drinking water to the consumer. And the third is minimize the amount of leaks of water we call that non-revenue water, so minimize non-revenue water through the network. The third kind of application which is of most interest to me are asset management applications for power gen, where you have power assets like turbines, compressors, that actually require some kind of predictive analytics so that uh, they could be monitored in real time and their life cycle could be optimized. In our case, when we, when we, when we put this offering in a customer's plant, a power plant, it actually saved them $4.1 million in a year, optimizing the value of their assets through our predictive analytics software and our asset management application. If we were modernizing the operations on a plant floor or for infrastructure or for automation, the first step I would actually take is if there are any automation islands with, on the plant floor, I would consolidate those automation islands through one vendor. The second step I would take is consolidate their IT and OT organizations and processes that could improve the total cost of ownership and improve their return on investment for the technologies there. And the third thing is any manual operations that they have, I would actually move the decision support systems, the knowledge management systems and the automation applications, including the business applications to the cloud. The value it would bring about to the customer is more throughput and there is more yield of product in lesser amount of time so they can push more product out the door, safer product out the door, more regulated product out the door and that means like lesser workforce consumption, more throughput, more yield and more value to their end user, more brand value to their own product which increases their revenue.